last time on Mad Hatter Reviews. Anyway, boys, I'm the new king of the swamp. Unless you both want to catch a 28-point of articulation beating, I'd skedaddle right out of town right now. And now, we continue. I don't know anymore, Fiona. Am I even the crockmaster when there are so many here to challenge my position? Maybe you shouldn't doubt yourself so much. Please leave me alone, I'm not in the mood. Which is precisely why I showed. After all, what kind of brother would I be if I didn't try to lift your spirits? I don't need you right now, brother. I can handle this on my own. Of course you can. You are a bane, after all. Even though you wish to hide your last name. Crockmaster Bane. I'm hiding nothing. I'm just sick of being associated with you. Every time people see me and hear me speak, they're like, oh, aren't you Bane? And I'm like, no, Bane is my brother. He just uses our last name. That's just how our family talks. I'm quite famous, yes, but that shouldn't deter you from taking what's yours. We Banes are a proud people, born in the shadows, while others merely adapted to it. Yes, yes, I know the speech, brother. Well, good. Now I have to go. I have my own review coming up. Oh, good for you. Another review. You certainly need more recognition. Raise your spirits, brother. We will take care of this crocker and this leather person. In the meantime, I leave you in charge. That is, of course, if you feel like you're in charge. Yes, please just go. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Today we are taking a look at this. McFarlane Bane. Todd McFarlane came out with this Bane and I think it's just, just the bee's knees. <laughs> Alright, so uh, as, as, as some of you know, some of you don't, uh, I am a massive Batman fan. I, I have... Pretty much all of the animated DC Direct uh, Batman stuff. I've got some Mafex Batman. But I think that the Todd McFarlane Batman line has been pretty hit or miss, all right? Nevertheless, sometimes there are diamonds in the rough. And I, uh, when I saw this figure, I felt this might be one of them, okay? This is a giant, massive, fuck-off Bane. And I think that even if you pair him with some smaller figures, like, I'm, I'm, I want to see what he looks like maybe with the Mafex Batman. Uh, the scale might actually work. Bane is portrayed in, in, in different media as, as going from just slightly taller than Batman to gigantic, all right? He's kind of like Venom. There's not one size for Bane, canon-wise. Canonically? Is that a word? Uh, he's not one size fits all. Sometimes he's small, sometimes he's big. Uh, so uh, I, I, I'm very, very curious to see this guy. I also love his sculpt or the pictures from the sculpt. So uh, before I forget, with the box, you got, uh, well, it's a box. And it's got a window box, and you can see the figure. Oh, my God. By the way, I've seen a lot of these posts uh, where uh, the, the Null Venom 2-pack, where people have been getting those 2-packs with not Venom and Null in there. So uh, I don't know. I don't know how that works out, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> but uh, you got the side of the box right here. It says Bane, but this is what I really love. I love this art, okay? Uh, just this, uh, you got Vane, and this Venom is just coursing through him, and uh, you can see his his veins right there. Did I say, did I call him vein just now? Vein? Uh, but uh, yeah, you got the venom in there, and uh, he's even he's even drooling some venom, which is which is pretty gnarly. But uh, I, uh, I I this is very very eye catching. So uh, let's stop talking. Let's go ahead and open him up, and let's see what we got. See you there. Holy moly! Look at this bane. <laughs> this guy is a beast this is a, this is the definition of a beast uh cat sifting i can't think of a more beastly figure than this guy and that includes beast man I, I mean this is just i mean look at this guy he's all kinds of intimidating so let's just talk about uh uh what he comes with accessories because he doesn't come with much all right i don't even know if you can count this as an accessory the first thing is this card right here all right this uh bane card has got the art from the back and then on, uh, on the back, you got uh, his, uh, his stats, real name unknown, all right, born on the island of Santa Prisca, and blah, 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 all that stuff. You get this card, and then the only other thing you get with this is this uh, handy-dandy little stand, okay? Uh, you get the stand, it's got uh, DC on it, and uh, nothing on the back, and uh, you might need it because, uh, I mean, this guy, this is a big boy. And he's going to do all kinds of falling. And uh, uh, I appreciate a good stand. But I would have liked 
uh, some more hands. Uh, I think some some fists uh, at least would have been good, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, let's dive into this figure. I think where this guy excels the most is uh, sculpt. The sculpt on this dude is awesome. You know, McFarlane, McFarlane can be a real uh, hit or miss company. I think lately, unfortunately, they've gotten a few misses, more misses than, than hits. But when they do hit, they hit hard. And uh, this guy is... Uh, this guy uh, is is part of the, uh, the the hard hitters, I think. He just looks great. As soon as I saw him just uh, previewed, I was like, I, I locked in because I was like, this guy, this guy's just going to look so good uh, on a shelf, and he does not disappoint. Um, as per, I guess, a lot of McFarlane figures, he is all aesthetic and less articulation. So uh, don't expect too much, and you won't be disappointed. I mean, you don't... You don't get this figure, of course, for articulation. It's not to say that he's badly articulated, but he has a few things that uh, I'll leave something to be desired. But we'll get into that in a second. But yeah, just the aesthetic on this guy is great. Great looking Bane. Very, very comic book style. Uh, gigantic. I'll do some comparisons at the end of the videos with the with the figure, the figures that I have uh, that, that are going to be relevant. But uh, I just love the straps right here, the texture on them. I love the texture on the skin. Okay, it's, it's, it's got this great vein work and just um, skin texture where it's, 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 it's got like really good uh, paint and uh, I don't know what you call this, but it's kind of like, I don't know, like skin spots and, and, and pockets and divots and all kinds of things that make it look interesting. And uh, no exception when you get to the pants, the pants have a nice texturing on them all the way to the knee pads, which look like real uh, like cloth pads. And then you get the boots. The mask is great here. Let me just do a close-up. I mean, just the texture on there and the, the, the red eyes. And uh, you, you turn it around right here. He's got the, uh, the this tank and it's got the nice silver sheen. And the only thing that I don't love as much are just these uh, these uh, uh, wires with the venom. I, something about the green, the neon uh, double dare green that I'm not loving. But uh, it's a small nitpick. But I'll say that in terms of aesthetic... This might be like a perfect Bane or near perfect, okay? Uh, and I'm just talking about aesthetic. But the articulation, I think, is uh, a little bit of the miss on this guy. So let's just get into that. He looks up, uh, barely about that much. Looks down about that much. It's more important that he looks down because, I mean, really, who's going to be taller than this guy? Uh, then you get the swivel right there on the neck. And uh, in terms of these shoulders, these massive shoulders, it's pretty good. He goes about... Uh, about that much. Uh, there is no bicep swivel, okay? Uh, but <laughs> Jesus, look at look at the biceps here. Uh, in terms of the the elbows, they go about ninety degrees. That's it. That's all you get. And then uh, uh, you get the uh, oops, you get the, the 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 hinge right here on the on the arm or on the hand, and then you get a swivel on the hand. In terms of the buck, it's just one solid piece, okay? There's no real. No real ab crunch. I mean, you could go back with the entire buck this way, and then you could go forward. Uh, you can't really go forward. He, he can't lurch, which I, I, I don't love because a big character should have that ability to kind of like hunch over, uh, especially, you know, you're going to be going up against guys that are smaller than you. So uh, that that's definitely... That's definitely unfortunate. And look at this. While I was doing the review, I think that this thing broke off. So that's great. Always great when you got to glue shit on. <laughs> oh, God. I paid actually perfect time to uh, discuss the price. I think I paid $40 for this guy. So not happy about that. But uh, let's keep going. Yeah, he does not lurch forward. Uh, in terms of his, uh, his leg articulation, the legs can do a perfect split. Okay, get some Jean-Claude Van Damme action right there. And uh, the other thing I like is he can do a big boot, too. Look at that. Like uh, uh, Undertaker, Hulk Hogan, just a big boot to the face. Uh, in terms of the knee articulation, I think that is a, uh, a pretty good uh, articulation point because it can go that much. You can get a double joint out of the knee, which is pretty cool. Uh, is there a boot cut? I don't think so. I think it's too fucking big. Uh, you get the, uh, the ankle that uh, pivots this much. And uh, then goes this way. You do get toe articulation, which is really, really cool. And then you get a rocker, which is really, really cool uh, as well. God damn it. This fucking wire thing pissed me off. But uh, yeah, in terms of comparison, I don't have a lot to compare him to. But uh, let me see what I do have. All right, here's that. Um, what is that? Year two Batman. Uh, I, I, I dare not pull him out of his cape because I'll never get it back in. But 
You just kind of want a height comparison. This Batman's cheating a little bit because he's on a stand, so he's uh, not as not that tall. And this Bane is actually lurching forward just a little bit, but uh, you can kind of like get a little bit of a comparison. So uh, you know, he he is appropriately sized, I think, in terms of being shorter than Bane. And uh, yeah, so that's that's the Batman Year Two. I, th I think it's year two, right? But the McFarlane one with the flowing cape. And uh, here's what he looks like next to these uh, Mafex Batmans. Uh, you got uh, uh, the Jim Lee, what is it, Hush uh, Batman, and then you get the uh, the Dark Knight Batman. He's pretty damn big next to them, but I don't hate it. I, 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 I just kind of look at this Bane like comic book, all juiced up Bane, uh, uh, maximum steroids Bane. So uh, I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually fine with this comparison. And then if you just want to comp with like a G.I. Joe classified figure, there's uh, Bane and uh, his now, his now uh, in canon brother, uh, Croc Master, a.k.a. Croc Master Bane. Uh, you can take a look at uh, that. He, uh, uh, he shows up about, he's a little taller than waist high. So that's it. All in all, very, very cool figure. Um, aesthetically, very pleasing. Uh, articulated, leaves something to be desired. Uh, uh, Size-wise, scale-wise, some people might uh, love it. Some people might hate it. Uh, I don't love that that fucking pipe in the back or that, that's uh, not pipe, that fucking uh, wire uh, just came out. But, uh, you know, there's there's glue for all kinds of things. You want this guy? Where'd I get him from? I got him from Entertainment Earth, I think, for like 40 bucks. And uh, I think you could probably find him at Target. Uh, he's in a big, giant box. You can't miss him if he is there. And that is all. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, giant Bane. Are you picking him up? Are you going to mix him in with other lines? Are you in on the whole McFarlane line? I just, again, I'm very, very picky with McFarlane. It's, it's got to really, really strike me, uh, uh, for me to for me to make a purchase. But this one did. And uh, I do not regret said purchase. So that is all. Uh, that is the wrap up of this Bane McFarlane figure. Let me know what you guys think. Drop me a comment. Drop me a like. There's a red button at the bottom. Hit the subscribe. There's a, there's a join. There's a membership join thing. Come on. Show me some love, guys. I got to keep this channel going. And that is all I got. See you next time. Bye-bye.